hello everyone thank you guys for tuning in to all my subscribers in the house thank you and you guys are welcome you know what guess what another subscriber someone subscribed to my channel so i have a a the four i'm trusting god that before the end of this year we are going to have more than 1000k by the special grace of god you know the bible says as you shall be given seek you shall find and whatever you use your mouth to say you know if you keep saying negative words to yourself if Kelly is not taking there's everything that you are going to get the result of that negativity so i'm saying it positively believing that before the end of this year by the grace of god we are going to have more than 1000k subscribers because i've already committed into the hand of the law and the law we do it and all of you that want to see hmm, how is it going to happen how is it going to happen you will see it will happen because you know when you prayed you have already prayed about something you don't have to worry anymore just leave it in the hand of the lord to handle and go and sleep you will handle it perfectly so to all my subscribers but all of you that you have been with me for the first day that i posted um or selfish name i can't remember but what i can remember vividly works i posted that video outside that outside that i made the video was my background but thank god look at where we are now a good background at my back thank you jesus now we want to look at joseph we want to look at what bible says about him in genesis 39. remember last week um i talked about how the lord helped joseph that he interpreted the dream of pharaoh but today we are going to look at the discipline that Joseph applied in Potiphar's house. And you know Potiphar's? Potiphar was one of the Pharaoh's officials, captain of the guide, that when that was the person that Joseph stayed with. And the Bible said that the law was with him even in the prison the bible said the lord was with joseph one thing i want you to notice throughout his journey anywhere joseph was you keep reading into the bible that the law was with him in the prison the law was with him even when he was was about to interpret the dreams of pharaoh the law spoke through him the law interpreted through him may we be like that in jesus name then anywhere we we are people will recognize the presence of the lord in our life now joseph was well built and handsome. The problem have already started. You know his master's um, wife. Probably she has been looking at Joseph. Oh my goodness. This girl is handsome. You know ladies. When you are tall and handsome. And you have money. There's going to be a problem. If you don't apply what is called discipline. It's only God that knows how many wives and baby mamas you are going to have. 
you know, he noticed that, oh, that, oh, this guy has a good stash of come in bed with me. And be careful. If a woman or a lady, if they want something, <clears throat> if they want to get you, they will get you. Unless you shower yourself with the grace of God, apply discipline. Whatever that you know that will not make you to live a life that is principle of discipline, you cut it off. If not, you will mess up. That's why you'll be seeing some people after they committed adultery. You'll be hearing, how come? How did you get here? And because the lady that wants to get you know what to do to get you. But if you make yourself to be available, they will get you. And Potiphar's wife, I noticed what is called persistence in her. She was persistent. She was telling Joseph, mm, okay, let's see. Maybe if this boy don't come to bear with me today, he will come tomorrow. But I can say that Joseph, he knew that he carried the grace of God. And number two, he was very disciplined. Because he's supposed to have failed for it. That, oh, okay, and you start to ask the master's wife. That, oh, I know that you guys, you, you, know, you people are very okay here. So out of the property with my master, how many percent stage do you have? Probably you will have thought, oh, mm, maybe if I come to bed with this woman, she will divorce her husband, will be able to marry her, and all the properties will belong to him and his master's wife. But Joseph wasn't like that. He knew that he had a divine assignment to carry out. He knew it was a journey on a mission. Joseph knew he was not alone. He has already surrounded himself to God. That God, here I am. Anywhere you have to, we are heading to that place together. Why am I bothering you with all these stories? This year, 2023, as we go into it, we are already in it there. Apply principle into your life. Apply what is called discipline. Integrity. Because when you carry the grace of God, the devil is aware. And it's going to send a lot of people to come your way, to come and abort that mission that God has given to you. Probably you know your, your own Joseph. The grace of God that's upon your life, don't waste it. Because when you, when you don't know that you carry something, there is every tendency that you can abuse it, you can misuse it, you can suffer for it. But the devil knows that you carry something. Discover what you carry and don't take it for granted. Because the grace of God, the devil can sh cut short somebody's life. And when the devil, when the devil did that, he knew that he has accomplished his mission. He moved to the next person. So the, the, be disciplined. And remember, if you don't pick anything from my message, Think one thing. 
You don't pick anything, she tries to pick one thing. And this is P in capital letter. Just pick that one. Now let's pray. Pray for yourself and pray for myself too. No one is above temptation. So Father in Jesus, grant it unto us in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that the grace of God upon our lives shall not be wasted in Jesus' name. And every sons and daughters of Lucifer that want to cut short our destiny, that want to abort our dreams, Lord, we pray them off out of our way in Jesus' name. Father, help us to fulfill destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.